it's an undescribable thing. Like the atmosphere, the teachers here are some of the coolest people I've met. You can't put into words like how unique it is. I am Collier Pally and I am an instructor at the Tom Savini Special Makeup Effects Program. I was about seven, six or seven and I saw Savini's remake of Night of the Living Dead. And that movie warped my mind and changed my life forever. One of my dad's friends when I was maybe 10 or 11 mentioned the school and I just went on the website and was every day just looking at it, studying all the pictures and everything, learning as much as I could. It's definitely an undescribable school. I learned mold making, fiberglass painting, different techniques, different ways to make prosthetics, prop fabrication, foam carving, how to run foam prosthetics and silicone prosthetics. Third semester when we were doing a patient screen because that's where a lot of different scenic elements pop into it and I didn't know too much about scenic but like I knew someone had to do the things like all the theming at theme parks and everything like someone had to do it. I had my heart set going to Florida, hopefully getting into Universal at some point. I had that goal like 10 years set down the road from after I graduated and I got there maybe three years. Universal was the first like major company I was a full time with. Everywhere else it was, I was a third party contractor or um, just hired like, hey, we need something done. We need a sculpt done or a mold made. Can you come in and do it for like this week or so? We kind of knew that we were doing for Star Wars, but like our managers couldn't say it was Star Wars. We had to use the code names. We would always just do that like wink, wink, nudge, nudge, like, yeah, no, we're just paying this for Big Bird. No, it's the Falcon. When I found out like for sure that's what we were doing, I was like, boyhood dream, awesome, loving it. Finally get to work on something that like I'm extremely passionate about. It was an otherworldly experience. Like the first time walking in, everything's operational. You're just like, what did I do? Like, what did I get myself into? I'm just looking around like, oh my God, this is so cool. Like when I first saw the Falcon, I like the nerd in me was like freaking out, but I was just like almost broke down in tears. I'm like, this is like my childhood dream come to life, a real life Falcon right there. I really started like, getting that mindset of like, you know what? I want to get back up. I want to get back to the Venus. Like I wanted to get back here after I graduated. I love the school so much, love the atmosphere. I love the area just cause like, I grew up right outside of Pittsburgh and everything. So I'm very accustomed to this area. Someone from school reached out, I was like, hey, there's an opening. You should apply. And I was up for maybe five or six hours. I didn't go to bed till maybe four or five in the morning, putting together the best portfolio I could, the best resume. Finally sent the email and I was like, you know what? Worst they say is no. I think it was maybe like a week or two later, I get a phone call from Jerry and then Jeff, like, you want it? The position's yours if you want it. And I looked at my girlfriend, I'm like, what should we do? It's like, do I uproot our life down in Florida just to move up north? And she's like, either you take the job or I'm just gonna shake you because <laughs> I'm not gonna let you miss out on that opportunity. The school is very similar to how I remember it. Like, yeah, some things changed and everything. I'm like, hasn't changed a whole lot. I like it, but it's weird having Jerry who worked on the movie that changed my life be like one of my peers and he's like kind of my boss. I'm like, this is weird, but it's really cool. I love it. I want to be that teacher that like I wish I had. I want to show them a little bit more than what we were taught. So for animatronics, I have everyone ahead of schedule mostly because I want them to do more complicated movements on them because I want everyone by the end of the semester to have a working animatronic. And I'm seeing people here that like remind me a lot of me when I was here where they have like that just built in drive to like constantly produce and make the best thing possible. I'm like, yes, harness that power. It's a very fulfilling uh, feeling just like see them learn and like understand the more that I'm like helping them out. I think I'm a huge asset for some people because scenic wasn't really talked about here. There's a lot of students that are like, that sounds amazing. That's why I want to get into. So I'm able to be like, okay, so you like this style, you would be better in this kind of shop environment. You want to be out on site, I can get you into this shop. It's the only kind of school that you can make a movie and also just create monsters. The collaboration between everyone, you can get people from Cosmo to do your hair for say your glam makeup for fashion performance. You can get the Romero people to shoot like a small little vignette for your creature makeup that you're doing. You guys can team up and do all that. And I don't think a lot of people realize that until they actually see it or do it. Everyone here is extremely welcoming. Like I, I'm coming in the new guy, 
still not the new guy because some of the teachers here still remembered me from being a student because I kept in contact with them. This is where I wanted to end up. I didn't see it happen for like another 20 years or so. It kind of breaks my brain, but I look back at my resume when I was setting everything up to send here, I was like, I'm 26 and I've done like over a dozen projects. I'm like, what is my life? And it was like starting to melt my brain. So I'm looking at certain things. I'm like, I worked on Toy Story, Star Wars, Pandora. I'm like, those are giant dreams that someone from a small town does not think that they can reach. I'm like, but I did it.